dominated the bodybuilders like no one ever did. Meet the bodybuilder who revolutionized the game. Considered to be the first of the mass monsters in bodybuilding, he combined his enormous muscle mass along with peak conditioning. His physique, akin to granite in hardness, sets a standard that leaves all in awe. His sheer dominance over the sport was unparalleled. He may be old now and his size may be gone, but his champion mindset lives on. He was the master of this game. For Dorian, it's not about the side. It's about the hustle. It's about the never-ending pursuit of excellence. You need to know why you're going to the gym today, exactly what you're doing, and what's your goal of going to the gym that day, and why you're going to push yourself until you feel nauseous and you feel pain because you want the end result but not only for me it was not only about the end result it was about mastery of myself it... he earned the nickname the shadow due to his knack for surprising appearances of the significant bodybuilding competitions where he would clinch victories without prior confirmation of his participation he remained elusive to the public eye for the majority of the time between contests. He won the Master Olympia title six consecutive times from 1992 to 1997 and has the fifth highest number of Master Olympia wins in history. Yates's career ended in large part due to chronic acute injuries, including torn biceps and triceps, the latter just three weeks prior to his final contest, the 1997 Mr. Olympia contest, which he won in spite of the injury. Standing at 178 centimeters tall and weighing 265 pounds, his chest measures an impressive 140 centimeters, a testament to his dedication to sculpting a formidable physique. Not to be overlooked are his thighs measuring 77 centimeters, 30 inches, and his waist which maintains a trim at 86 centimeters, 34 inches highlighting his proportional development. His calves boast a circumference of 55 centimeters, 22 inches, contributing to his overall balanced physique. Finally, his upper arms measure an impressive 53 centimeters, uh, 21 inches. damage is what leads to growth so you want to be able to fail on the negative as well so slowing the negative down and occasionally at the end of the set doing some extra negatives is the way to do that In the 
gym, I'm on a mission to preserve my hard-earned muscle mass. Despite facing challenges from two torn rotator cuffs, even after undergoing surgery that didn't yield the desired results, I remain undeterred. My pressing capabilities have been significantly compromised, making exercises like overhead presses a distant dream. Yates espoused a style of training known as HIT High Intensity Training, which states that maximum muscle stimulation can be reached through short, high intensity workout sessions rather than long duration workouts. The training style was originally popularized by Mike Menzer. I always ask why. That's a big thing with me, why? Make sure to hit that follow and subscribe button for Craven Motivation.